How do you see yourself? Do you project confidence and self-assurance? Or are you unknowingly engaging in behaviors that are actually repelling others? Some habits can really put a damper on your vibe and make you less attractive. In this video, we're diving deep into the five behaviors that make you less attractive, and trust me, you'll want to ditch these habits like a bad date. Let's talk about validation. We all crave it to some extent. But when you're constantly seeking approval from others, it becomes a problem. It's like you're handing over your self-worth to someone else, letting them decide your value. And that's a recipe for disaster. You start doubting yourself, your decisions, your very being. Stop looking for it in others. When you depend on external validation, you become a puppet, dancing to the tune of other people's opinions. It's exhausting and ultimately unfulfilling because you're never truly content with who you are. When you love and accept yourself, flaws and all, you radiate a different kind of energy, an energy that's both attractive and empowering. Remember you are enough just the way you are. Don't waste your precious energy seeking validation from others when the most important validation comes from within. Are you a chronic people pleaser, always saying yes, even when you want to say no? Look, I get it, you want to be liked, to be seen as helpful and agreeable, but constantly putting others' needs before your own comes at a cost, your own identity. When you spend all your time trying to make everyone else happy, you end up neglecting your own needs and desires. You silence that inner voice, that unique spark that makes you, you. And that's a tragedy because the world needs your authentic self. Brene Brown talks about the power of authenticity. It's about showing up as your true self, even when it's uncomfortable. When you're true to yourself, you're naturally more engaging, more interesting, and yes, more attractive. When you learn to say no with grace and set healthy boundaries, you're telling yourself and the world that you respect yourself. And that's a powerful message. In a world of instant gratification, it's easy to get caught up in the whirlwind of a new romance. But rushing into relationships is like jumping out of a plane without a parachute, exhilarating at first, but likely to end in disaster. Dr. John Gottman stresses the importance of building a strong foundation based on friendship, trust, and shared values. You need time to really get to know someone, their quirks, their dreams, their values, before you can even begin to think about a long-term commitment. Rushing into a relationship often stems from a fear of being alone, a need to fill a void. But here's the thing. You can't build a healthy, lasting relationship on a foundation of fear or insecurity. Take your time, get to know the person, and let the relationship unfold organically. Remember, a slow burn can be just as passionate, if not more so, than a raging fire that burns out quickly. Now being selfless and caring are admirable qualities, but there's a fine line between healthy selflessness and self-sacrifice. When you constantly put others' needs before your own, you end up neglecting your own well-being. Look, you can't pour from an empty cup. If you're constantly giving and giving without replenishing yourself, you're going to burn out. And resentment? It's like a slow poison that eats away at a relationship. Dr. Terry Orbach talks about the importance of maintaining individuality within relationships. You can be loving and supportive without sacrificing your own identity. The healthiest relationships are those where both partners feel free to be themselves, to pursue their passions, and to grow both individually and together. In today's hyper-connected world, it's easy to fall into the trap of being constantly available. But always being on can take a toll on your mental health and make you seem less attractive. Sherry Turkle talks about the importance of solitude and disconnection. Taking time for yourself isn't selfish. It's essential for your well-being. It allows you to recharge to pursue your own interests and to come back to your relationships feeling refreshed and more engaged. When you're not always available, you create a sense of longing, a desire to connect on a deeper level. So there you have it folks, the five behaviors that are killing your vibe. Remember, true attractiveness comes from within, from a place of self-love, authenticity, and respect for yourself and others. If you found these tips helpful, give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more insightful content on personal growth and relationships. We've got a treasure trove of videos that can help you ditch those vibe-killing habits and step into your most confident, attractive self. Take care of your mental and emotional well-being and watch your vibe soar.